and we're back. That was a short break. Anyway, let's continue our tour. Yeah, it's really dark in this. Maybe I should turn the brightness. Brightness? Bright. Brightness? Yeah. This should be good. Or better. Awesome. That's what the way I wanted to see. Yeah, I think I should turn the brightness a little bit more. From the text. Can I not reach that? What? I shoved it! Oh my god. I thought I was ready to fall. Wait. Is that what I think it is? burn them. These are the stuff that's are weighing down. What? Why did that not ignite? Time. <gasps> <sighs> J 
Jumpy, jumpy. Like Sonic. Jumpy. Aww. I can't do that now. I can't do that now. Yeah, I was trying to, like, blow off the torch. Have we missed? Oh, we have missed a lot of stuff. Yeah. Are these like the ones that are found? Yeah. the death. I want to kill them in silence. Am I standing on the fire? Yep. Yeah, that was not smart from me. Why did I do that? I have spoken to some of the villagers on the island. I was expressly forbidden to leave the palace, but this did not stop me. My duties here are clear. I must learn the truth, but the stories I uncovered defy belief. Rumors abound of the queen's communion with the spiritual world. They say she commands the sun and the rain, that her lands are abundant by her will alone. <laughs> this is certainly nonsense, but what can be the cause of such whispers? Is this how she controls her people? By engaging their primitive superstitions? I saw absolute reverence in their eyes when they spoke of her. Yet, I also sense fear. Her people are treated with fairness, taxed reasonably, and are well protected by her storm god. No wonder some of them even pray to her. It's as if she were more than just a queen to them. Spreading discontent through her people may well be a harder task than I imagined.
need a cord. What? Where's the... for preparing medicinal herbs. Oh. Can you fuck? Yeah, that napalm bomb is that is not fair. What? What? I only switch weapons. You think? <laughs> oh, hello. Hey. Is this little fox, huh? Oh, he's cute, huh? <laughs> hey, it's yeah. Alicia. Alicia. It's my right daughter. There. Oh. 14 years old and smarter than you'll ever be. She must must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. And yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. <laughs> From her father. This one. So I was on the walk, right? Doing a spot of midnight fishing. Hey, Grim. Time to button down the hatches. I'll be right with you. 
So I was on the lock, right? And this thing comes looming at me, looming out of the water it was. So I give her a old Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> Get shot of trouble nine times out of ten at this. Took me a week to sleep that night off. And I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, fam. So a Scottish, a British or Irish slash. Yeah. All right. Can we take B roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay. Now take a firm grip and then slice him down the belly like this. Yeah, you got. Come on, cut, cut, cut. Uh, is, is he coming back? <sighs> I'll go get him. Well, for now, Doc. The world-renowned archaeologist and chef, Dr. James Whitman. It's just a fish. It's cool. It's just a gonna fish. Be <laughs> this damned reality TV business. I'm, I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one, your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old. It was my first find. Yeah. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well... Whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> okay, Lara, pull yourself together. They're counting. Anyway, I think this should be the episode for you to cut here. Well, if you like this content, please click a like and subscribe so I can keep making more of this video. Bye! And we're...